Hey guys, the Pikawoo here, bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. Um, this is going to be a NU battle, and in this video, there's going to be two actual battles against Coda Triceratops. And um, we we're both um, just messing around with some random pokes in the NU tier, and um, yeah, using um, NU Pokemon is um, definitely really fun. And I had a really fun time using some of these um, Pokemon. So, anyways, um, he leads off at the Perugly, and I'm gonna lead off the Mr. Mime that's Scarfed. And he's going to um, switch out to resist the Psychic, and he goes into his Metang, which is a pretty good special wall. And my Psychic isn't going to do much. Now I go into my Area Dose, uh, predicting his um, obvious Stealth Rocks, and um, I just want to trap him with a Spider Web, so then um, um, he won't be able to escape, and I can then Baton Pass the Spider Web to another Pokemon. And um, I'm going to Baton Pass this turn and go into my Bastiodon, because my Bastiodon can... Um, pretty much take any hit from this uh this metang and set up my own stealth rocks and um the meter mash isn't going to do much because bastiodon is probably one of the most bulkiest pokemons in pokemon and um i switch out go into tauros after setting up the stealth rocks and this is not a um your usual tauros this is actually a anger management tauros now what anger management does is if um tauros gets hit by a crit it immediately gets plus 6 attack, and um, luckily for me, on the first turn, I do get a crit. He gets a crit on me, and I will be able to have max attack. And um, I go for the Earthquake here just to finish off this Metang, but he predicts that and goes into a Pidgeot. And um, I'm just going to stay in, knowing that I can outspeed this Pidgeot and go for a Stab Return. And now my opponent goes back into um, this Metang. And even though Return is resisted, I do have max attack, and that is easily going to take out the Metang, and the Metang goes down. So, um, yeah, this Tauros is just going to wreck a lot of shit. And um, he goes into a uh, Rapidash, and the Rapidash will outspeed me, and it's going to hit me with a Flare Blitz. That's going to bring me down to um, Yellow Health or Red Health, Yellow Health, and um, I'll be able to take down this um, Rapidash with a Return. And that Rapidash goes down. So, um, yeah, this Tauros is pretty much a absolute beast if um, it does get hit by a crit. And um, with le Leftovers, um, you can have five subs. So that's five chances, which gives you a 25% chance of getting a crit hit on the Tauros, which is really nice. But um, Salic Berry would have done better in this scenario because I would have outsped this uh, this Perugly and probably proceeded to sweep his the rest of his team. But um, it doesn't really matter because I go into my Mothum, and Mothum is pretty cool. No one uses Mothum that much. And um, I've actually never seen in Mothum used against myself, actually. So um, I was just going to use Mothum because he's pretty badass. And um, Air Slash is going to take down that Pidgeot after um, two hits. And um, he goes back into Perugly, and I know that my Bastion Bastiodon can pretty much fully counter this Perugly. And um, he knows that he can't do much to this Bastiodon, so he's just going to go back to back into a Shroomish. Um, pretty much to take the Earthquake, and the Earthquake's not going to do much to the Shroomish. And um, Shroomish is a pretty good poke and never used. Um, if you guys um, might know, in my previous video, I did use a Shroomish against um, another person in the NU tier. And um, pretty much any Pokemon has the potential to be good in the never used tier. And that's what I really like about the never used tier because um if you um use NFEs they can still be um useful and um I'm just gonna stay in with my Bastiodon because I know this uh streamers can't do much and I do carry the taunt on this Bastiodon and that's gonna force a switch off of his um Shroomish and he's gonna go into Machoke as I go into Meganium and this isn't your usual um bulky support Meganium this is actually a swords dancing Meganium set with um Swords Dance Return, Seed Bomb, and um, I'm just going to Death Fodder my Area Dose here, um, just to see if this Machoke is um, Scarfed or Life Orb or whatever the set is, and um, he goes back into his Shroomish, I don't know why, predicting something, and I go into my Motham, and for a sec, I totally forgot about Stealth Rocks, and the Stealth Rocks is just going to KO me, and that's going to suck, but um, I'm just going to go into my, my Mr. Mime now, and... I'm gonna hit him with a modest, uh, a modest psychic, and surprisingly, this uh, Shroomish is gonna take it, which shows you um, 
how much potential Shroomish does have, and um, that Shroomish probably does have um, investments in special defense and HP. But now he goes into uh, Perugly, probably to scare me out. But um, that didn't really work because I actually stayed in because I really didn't need Mr. Mime at this point. And I'm pretty sure I could have lived a fake out, even despite my low defenses and HP. And now um, his last Pokemon is his Perugly, and I am going to finish him with a Psychic. So yeah, good game. Um, another a new match in this video coming up. So yeah, enjoy. Welcome back guys, um, welcome to the second battle, so definitely enjoy this battle. It's going to be another NU tier battle, as you guys all love, because NU is probably the most fun tier ever, and this time I'm actually going to bring in some more um, really underrated Pokemon, and I'm going to lead off with a Gabite. I see he leads off with a, um, with a uh, what is that, Parasect, and this is a lead Gabite, not on the Smogon uh, site, it does have Stealth Rocks and... Um, Stealth Rocks and Taunt, and that's going to pretty much um, render that uh, Parasect useless after it gets taunted. And um, after I get my Stealth Rocks up, I am mean, going to get a crit from this Outrage. And um, I think that did matter. Um, I'm not really sure, and that Pidgeot is um, going to be taken down really early in the game. And that's going to be really great for me because I won't have to deal with that Pidgeot later. But now he knows that I'm locked into Outrage. He is going to get his Stealth Rocks up from his Pro Probo Pass. But I do have a pretty good counter to his Probo Pass, which is my Love Disc. Um, Love Disc pretty much is a um, Annoyer type set, and it pretty much counters any type of support Pokemon such as this Chim Chimeco and uh, it has a uh, toxic attract and um, lovely kiss but I totally forgot attract does not um, work on Pokemon with the same gender so that failed but um that's not too big because I am gonna get this Chimeco confused and luckily for me it is gonna get hurt by um, confusion and now, Chimeco is going to uh, withdraw, and I predict that, so I go for the Toxic. And that was a really great prediction for me, because I am going to get this um, Parasect confused, or uh, poisoned, but he does carry the Lumberry, so that's too bad for me. And right there, I uh, went for the Protect, just to scout what he's going to do, and I am going to get this, uh, this Parasect poisoned, as he's going to go for the Spore. And I didn't really want anything else to be um, asleep, so I just leave this Love, love Disc as a... Uh, Sleep Fighter. Now he's going to go for the Stun Spore against this Dust Talk, and that's really no big deal, but he does miss, luckily, and that's going to um, be good for me. And I'm going to go hit him with a Stab Bug Buzz, and that doesn't do much, surprisingly, as um, this Parasite does go for Aromatherapy, so the Toxic attacks were pretty much useless. Now I'm going to go back to my Love Disc, predict the um, status inducing move, and um, that's going to be good because he does go for the status inducing move. And now I go into my Tauros, predicting him to go for either the Seed Bomb or the Egg Scissor. Um, I really want to see what his fourth move is, if it is an attacking move or a support move. So um, I go into my Tauros, go for the Stone Edge. That's going to KO this Chemeco with a crit. I'm pretty sure that didn't really matter at that point, because the Reflect did wear off. And um, this Tauros is the same Tauros set as my last set, and I'm pretty much trying to get the Anger Management again. And um, I'm going to set up a sub. And um, as you guys can tell, Anger Management, Tauros is a beast um, from the last video. And I'm just going to keep on setting up subs, hoping to get a crit. And with Leftovers, it has a 25% chance of um, making the ability activated. Um, so this one does have Leftovers. Uh, Slackberry would be better, but you'll only have four chances to, um, to get the crit. Um, because you can only make four subs, but um, yeah, as you can tell, um, I am not gonna get the crit sadly this this time. But um, so yeah, I won't be able to make another sub here. So I'm just gonna hit this Primplup with an earthquake, and Primplup actually does not have the steel um typing like his um evolve form and Pullion does. So it actually isn't gonna KO this Primplup sadly, and he's just gonna finish me with a surf. And um, I'm going to just revenge kill with the Stantler because my Stantler is actually Choice Scarfed. And um, Choice Scarfed Stantler is a beast and is just going to finish this uh, this um, Primplot with an Earthquake. Now he goes back into this fun guy, the Parasect. 
And I thought at this point a earthquake would be able to kill because it's at really low health, but surprisingly it doesn't. And he's going to hit a stun spore on my Stantler. And I do get the first turn Parahax, which is going to suck because he is going to get some damage. And um, that's not going to hurt me in the long run too much because I am going to take down this Parasect. And I do have other Pokemon to take down his Ninetales and the sixth Pokemon he has. And um, this Ninetales is going to go for Overheat. I leave my Stantler as Death Fodder just to see if it's a nasty plot set or if it's another type of Ninetales set. And um, I see uh, I see the overheat, so I'm almost positive it's not going to be a um, nasty plot set. And I go into my Gabite because I resist the fire move and the energy ball. And I can just take this Ninetales down with an Earthquake. But surprisingly, he does live the Earthquake, a stab super effective Earthquake. So this must be some kind of bulky um, Ninetales set. But I am going to um, take down this Ninetales, and his last Pokemon is a Probo Pass, And the Probo Pass is going to um, be four times a week, two ground moves. So, although I am burned and my attack is halved, um, it will still do a considerably good amount of damage to a point where the um, Earthquake is going to be a two-hit KO. And so, that is his last Pokemon, and I will take him down with the next Earthquake, so, good game. Thanks for the battle, Codus Charceratops. Hope you guys enjoyed the two NU battles. Um, Definitely play some more NU, because NU is amazing, so, peace out, guys.